I'm going to I'm going to go back and, and repeat what we said earlier. Uh, Mr. Executive, I was here after the major snow. Uh, we heard a lot of a lot of issues from the community. We heard a lot of issues from the employees. And so one of the things uh, I went back to commit to is one, we're going to look at all our policies. Uh, we're going to deal with our policies, we're going to improve our communication, and we're going to tackle the budget issue. Uh, also, I committed to make sure you get here. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? Yeah. And I said, if I can't get here, y'all going to have to kick my butt. <laughs> so I'm happy. Let's get around. <laughs> I put my reputation on the line. I said, I usually get him to show up for public safety stuff. I'm not doing that anymore. So I wonder if I could fake it and say public infrastructure is public safety. But seriously, when we talked to him in the budget process, he was really sincere about the issues that you all were facing in the snow blizzard. And he tackled it. We tackled it in the budget. He made a commitment. And tell you the truth, I didn't have to do all that. He said he wanted to be here because you all worked your butts off during the 2016 blizzard and after the blizzard. So uh, I just want to thank him personally for coming and uh, hopefully he'll share some words with you. So County Executive Sharon Baker. <laughs> You guys enjoying Barry? Isn't he great? Can we give him another round of applause? I, I, I really thought, and I'll, and I'll try to be very brief, but you know, I thought Daryl was going to say, I believe this is true. I think he is the first um, public works uh, director to actually go into the helicopter and fly over, to, <laughs> fly over the county. He was not afraid once up there. He only clutched a couple of times and said, please get me down. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it, it was you know it, it 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 was an opportunity for us to not only see the work that you're doing it's one thing to see it from the ground but it's another thing to see it from the air and to get a perspective that a lot of citizens don't of how large this county really is and how complex it is I think we learned that you know th the work that you have done during that snowstorm just changed our opinion uh, so much of how hard it is and how hard you work not just around the blizzard but throughout but it really gives you a picture of how difficult this is so it made me to the point where when people would complain I'd almost get ready to you know forget that I was county executive and tell them <laughs> <laughs> yeah I wanted I still want channel 5 to bring their ass out here <laughs> you know, we gonna give them a couple of streets you know we don't, we don't give next no blizzard. I want them all come out here. We got 500 square miles. Let's see you plow that. <laughs> and we'll give you a budget to do it. You know, it's not like you have a budget from Massachusetts or Wisconsin. You have a budget from the Mid-Atlantic. You know, so that's one thing. The other thing is I got a chance to actually walk through here. Barry's right. Walk through on some of the phone calls when people were calling in here. And one of them, they allowed me to take it. And she started, she started yelling. I was getting ready to say, I just came out of the freaking cold. And you yelling at me, I'm about to yell back at you. But y'all didn't do that. Y'all are great. You handled it, and I mean that sincerely, you handled it very well. What it says to me and what it says to Daryl, and um, what I, the reason I did want to be here, and Barry's right, he said, you were going to have this. And I said, I want to make it. Uh, I know it may be late. Um, but I want to make it just to say thank you. Um, not just thank you on behalf of the county, um, but really thank you on behalf of the people of Prince George's County. Uh, they, they may not say it to you uh, individually, but they say it to me. When somebody comes up and says, hey, thank you for taking care of my road. Uh, thank you for getting out there. Um, they're really saying thank you to you and it's just your your abilities and your work is just phenomenal you're a, an unbelievable group of individuals I really mean that I've just never seen anyone work that hard under those situations those conditions and um, you know I, I probably would you know if, if I didn't have somebody picking me up and bringing me to work I probably just stayed home because <laughs> I know a bunch of y'all felt like you know what I they talking about plowing I had, I told them I said I wanted a picture and I got a picture of this of me plowing out my uh, driveway 
because somebody thinks I get it plowed out for me. I was like, no, I got to plow myself out so I can go here and listen to you complain. <laughs> and I know you guys many times felt the same way as that. You know what? You got to leave your family. You got to stay here all night. And there is no one coming by, maybe except for Daryl and, and other folks saying thank you for coming in. Um, but we don't say it enough. and We don't appreciate how much sacrifice you and your family make uh, to do this job. Um, it's not enough to say we get a paycheck. I get a paycheck and I don't feel like people thank me enough. You get a paycheck and you do more than I do. And we don't thank you enough. And I want you to know that uh, we appreciate it. And we're gonna do everything we can to make your life better. I mean that sincerely. From getting you to equipment, uh, Barry knows this, to, to try and figure out where we get some more money. Um, because, um, you know, and get you more bodies. And every time we turn around and thought we found a place where DPW didn't have people out there, they had them. So about 12.01, I pulled up and I said, this is the most secluded uh, place there is. And there was one individual that was in the driveway who said it's icy on their street. And I think I called Gwen. I called Gwen, I said, can you get this guy to take the ice off the street, which wasn't one that we were assigned to plow. It actually wasn't a private one. And, you know, the fact that we could do that and that individual could get their requests, you know, they didn't know I was a county executive. They thought I was some crazy man out there because I had a suit and tie on and it's icy. And I'm like, did, you, did your street get plowed? And she's like, no, they didn't do this one. Do you know somebody? I said, I know a couple of people. <laughs> Don't hold me to it. <laughs> but no, it, it means that uh, we have a greater understanding of the sacrifice you've made, and, and we really appreciate it. And I, and I want you to know that, um, that we're going to do everything we can to make your jobs and your life as, as easy as we possibly can. Thank you very much. Two and three. We'll take that one more time, please, everyone. One, two, and... Three. That's great, we're good to go. Okay, district two. Right. Right. District two. All right, All right. District All right. District thank you guys. Go ahead, get in this one. Do you want one more time? Do you need chairs? No. Do you need chairs for somebody to sit down? There you go. Oh. All right, one, one, three. One, two, and three. Thank you. That's the stuff, guys. Thank you. All right, you need to
three. And again, all three here. One, two, and three. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. All right. All right. I need to see you. I need to see you. I need to see you.